What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video, sneak peek on the new update, coming to Clash of Clans, new troop levels and some balancing changes. That's what we're talking about today. As you can see, we already got an attack on the screen here, and you might notice there's some new witch levels, some new ice golem levels, and some crazy freeze radiuses on those ice golems. So in this video, we're going to be showing some gameplay, getting into the details, some of the numbers, which are not finalized, but um, will give us a good idea of what's being changed. Most of these changes affecting Town Hall 12 with the new levels of uh, defenses and troops, but also some of this is going to affect some of the lower Town Hall levels as well. All right, let's get right into it, though. Um, I'm going to kind of recap things real quick, and then we'll get into some specifics. So... The overall uh, summary of things, we have Archer Tower, Archer Tower level 17 and Cannon level 17 coming to Town Hall 12. Uh, new troop levels, Witch level 5, Hog Rider level 9, Ice Golem level 5 also coming to Town Hall 12. Um, then some balancing in game, the Ice Golem is uh, being reduced to make it less effective defensively, less of a freeze uh, time on it and the offensive freeze is being changed to make it more powerful offensively. Tornado Trap also being reduced in time, Wall Breakers uh, buffed, and the Small Bombs buffed as well. That covers it for the main village. We won't talk about Builder Base in this video. Let's get into some of the numbers here. This is the Witch. You can see pretty significant uh, change there to the uh, DPS, and then the hit points going up a little bit as well. Uh, also summons a max of 14 instead of 2. Once again, guys, these numbers are not going to be final um, until the update comes out. Just kind of a, gets you an idea of what's happening. The skeleton unchanged there. Uh, the witch spawns. I'm going to go ahead and gem that guy maxed. I would not recommend doing that in your own account unless you have some uh, disposable income. Um, okay, Ice Golem, you can see uh, pretty... Decent changes to the uh, DPS and uh, freeze time as we upgrade it to level 5. And you guys will see a lot more gameplay in this video of the Ice Golem when it dies. The, uh, that insane radius it now has for the freeze, much bigger than an actual freeze spell. Uh, we will also gem that to max. And finally the Hog Rider going to level 9 as well at Town Hall 12. Um, decent DPS, but the main thing is you can see there by the uh, bars on the screen is the hit points are going up quite a bit as we get it to level 9. Might make it a good option for Town Hall 12 because uh, we have not seen hogs much at Town Hall 12 uh, in the, uh, the recent meta. Okay, so that basically covers the three new troops coming. Uh, like I said, you may not want to waste your own gems. Uh, just upgrade those guys normally. Let's go to the Archer Tower now, level uh, 17. Just a small increase in uh, DPS and a uh, also somewhat small increase in hit points. As you guys know, uh, Archer Tower's cannons were kind of nerfed in the uh, most recent update, the balancing update before this, where the Expos were actually buffed. This is going to bring them back up a little bit at Town Hall 12, make them, uh, I think, more or less what they were before the, uh, the nerf. So this is going to make Town Hall 12... Uh, defenses just a little bit more powerful to help counter some of those new troop levels we are seeing. So really overall what we're seeing here is Town Hall 12 is starting to pull away from Town Hall 11 um, in terms of troop levels and that tends to happen at every top Town Hall level uh, as things are added to the top of the game um, it pulls away from the other Town Hall levels more. Okay so taking a look at the Ice Golem a little bit check it out when it dies now it has like an initial freeze and like a split second later, look at that, it's getting that cannon, which is an entire three tiles away from the wall frozen. Um, that's like the Archer Queen radius right there. So this is an insane freeze spell. We'll, we'll drop a few other ice golems in different locations. You guys can see exactly how the freezes are going to reach here. Um, getting that gold mine even all the way over on the other side. We'll drop one right in the middle and you'll watch, I mean this, if you get an ice golem into the middle of the base, and uh, it triggers at the right time. You can get some insane value. It's almost like two free spells were dropped. Um, we'll drop a few more just to give you guys uh, an even better idea of how exactly the radius is going to work. But a lot of it's going to be experimentation. Um, getting the ice golem you know, at the right timing to get it in the base where you need it. 
and get that nice freeze effect on Inferno Towers, whatever else. So yeah, that's, that's pretty significant. Um, the freeze was nowhere near that uh, before this balancing update. Okay, taking a look at the wall breaker, which I mentioned, it now has more hit points. The small bomb was also buffed, so the small bomb will still kill a wall breaker um, at Town Hall 12. But notice the uh, the wall breaker not dying to a wizard tower. That's something that uh, previously has uh, not been a thing. Wizard towers could wipe out wall breakers, might make it for queen charges, make wall breakers even uh, more of an option. Use your siege machine elsewhere. Tornado Trap, a uh, reduction in the amount of time it lasts, so a small nerf of Tornado Trap at each level, um, which affects Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12. As far as the Wall Breakers go, it's levels 5 through 8, so that's going to affect most of the top Town Hall levels, I think like level Town Hall 8 or Town Hall 9 and above. So pretty much all the relevant Town Hall levels being affected by the Wall Breakers. However, the bomb damage is only at, town, uh, only at level 7 and 8, uh, which I believe covers at least Town Hall 10 upwards, um, it might be Town Hall 11 plus, but uh, it's mainly for the top levels uh, we're seeing these changes to wall breakers and bombs. Um, we'll go ahead and drop in the new Archer Queen, that's kind of spiffy, look at how she kind of moves around, the King also moving around a little, it's a little uncanny almost, I'm not sure if I like it or what to think, maybe I'm just not used to it. Um, but the heroes definitely look different. It reminds me of some of those YouTube videos that my friend shows me I stumble across where it's like these weird like claymation animation videos. Um, you guys might know what I'm talking about. I, know the, I don't know the exact word for it, but they're very um, uncomfortable type videos of animations that don't really abide by the laws of physics. Um, the heroes have a similar vibe, and you may or may not know what I mean, but uh, it's interesting, the Grand Warden is the same, but the King and Queen looking a little cooler uh, with that new movement. Okay, let's take a look at some attacks, kind of give these troops some big picture um, examples here. And these are just some attacks on the developer build. Um, some of these bases have under level stuff. This is pretty much a max Town Hall 12. I uh, don't think there's going to be any CC troops though defensively. Gonna try out, um, the first replay at the beginning we tried out like a straight bow witch with the ice golems. Now we're just gonna try a mass witch behind like four ice golems. Uh, getting some decent freeze values here. Uh, King queen going in. And really the witches, it's not that noticeable, each individual witch, but the, the total, when you look at how the witches move, uh, they're definitely more effective. This one's not gonna go that well because a bunch of wiz uh, witches will get taken out by the inferno. Uh, over there, um, but look at that ice golem. That's pretty important. I think that's the main thing to take away from this attack. The ice golem was outside the wall and it froze that multi inferno on the left of the screen. And what that means is people often put their infernos four tiles from the wall so the archer queen can't reach. The ice golem can reach when it dies. So that is a very important fact to keep in mind. Um, but the mass witch, I don't think, will be crushing any town hall 12 bases. Keep in mind these weren't the most well prepared attacks, but. Um, I think that uh, the witches are just going to be a little more popular. Maybe Bow Witch can start to be a, a more of a viable three-star possibility when planned correctly at Town Hall 12. Um, but nothing too overpowering from the new witches. It's kind of the idea I got from watching the uh, first attack uh, that I did on replay at the beginning of this video, then also that one. Um, I'm probably the most thing I'm looking forward to most for Town Hall 12 are hogs. Um, Take a look at this one. It's a bit of an awkward attack. It wasn't my best attack. Um, and the queen and the king defensively are very low level, which is something that happens in the developer build, unfortunately, when people don't upgrade their heroes. Um, but you can go in with a kill squad here, just take out a decent part of the base, then a nice wall of hogs. I forgot to drop my Valks in the kill squad. kind of sucked. Um, and they are going to get hung up on a tornado trap. But these hogs are pretty tanky. Um, that's an extra 110 hit points working for him, as we saw pending the update in the exact numbers. Um, and they are stuck in that tornado trap. I have to wait in my warden's ability because I don't want the Giga Tesla and the uh, bomb that goes off to destroy my hogs. But you can see here, um, they're going to go through most of this base. I forget that I have another heal spell in my clan castle, so that sucked as well. But even though this attack was very awkward, um, the hogs definitely looked pretty strong in this one as they kind of move through the, the base here. Um, I think an actual well-planned attack, maybe like a queen charge hog attack, or um, 
a kill squad hog attack, different variations can be pretty effective at Town Hall 12 now with a significant buff to hogs at level 9. Um, as you guys saw earlier, they are pretty strong. So that will do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in later videos breaking down this update further. Until then, see you guys later. Bisectatron out.